Morning folks, and welcome back. This week, I'm down in Kent with Andy from Kent Survival. Hello! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, that was unexpected. We seem to have <laughs> we seem to have come to the end of the river. Uh... <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Why didn't even see that coming? <laughs> uh, that wasn't planned. <laughs> uh, looks like we'll probably have to get out here and I'm hoping... Uh, I have to backtrack. Yeah, I'm hoping the river continues on the other side. It must be piped. Ah, anyway, we're here on the river today um, and uh, the idea is really uh, to have a bit of paddling practice before Sweden. Um, just because uh, Andy's not paddled solo before, so we're gonna have a weekend of um, training of training, <laughs> and, uh, and a bit of an overnight camp tonight. <laughs> How am I doing? You're doing really well, mate. <laughs> oh, sh oh, what's that in the river down there? Is that your paddle, Andy? <laughs> Well, we're back in the river after our abrupt stop back there. <laughs> and uh, it's actually a little bit wider up here as well, which is nice. There might actually just about be enough room to turn a canoe around in it, Andy. What do you reckon? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, a bit of a breeze today, which unfortunately we're heading right into, which does make the paddling a little bit harder, uh, especially for Andy who's uh, struggling to master his J-stroke as it is. Crashed! <laughs> the forecast is overcast, cloudy, um, with the odd drizzly shower. We've already had one, and uh, I think that'll just be on and off throughout the afternoon. But um, that's all right. We've got wet weather gear with us, and uh, tonight we're gonna be camping. Um, Andy's found a couple of potential woodland spots by the side of the river, so uh, we're going to go and check them out as we go past and see what they're like. But uh, yeah, we're basically heading from um, the village of Saar in Kent um, out towards Rakulva, which is right on the Thames estuary. Um, but even though we're paddling towards the water, towards the sea, towards the estuary, we're actually paddling upstream because uh, this river flows and joins um, the river Great Stour, which is behind us. So we're just going past a, a little bit of woodland now on my right, um, which is one of the spots we'd earmarked as a possible camp spot for tonight. And it's about lunchtime, so I think we're gonna stop 
find a place to get out of the river because it's very grown up along here. As you can see, we're going to have to battle our way up there a little bit, but I think we're going to stop here and have a bite to eat. Oh, careful what to grab hold of here. Ow! <laughs> Kitchen. Right, I just got a little bit of this on my lip. <laughs> When I took the lid off <laughs> and it's pretty warm. Uh, oh, 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 easy there. Right, okay, let's give this a try. I'm quite looking forward to this after hearing that noise. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Actually, it's really nice. It is hot, it is hot. There's no getting away from that. Well, we've had our lunch and a nice little rest. Um, my tongue is still zinging <laughs> from that chili sauce. Um, I'll put a link in the description box below for those uh, chili sauces. They're available on um, Etsy. So if you want to get hold of some to, to try out, um, they're there. We're going to get back on the river and carry on upstream. So we've just got to the second bit of woodland um, that looked on Google Earth like a good possibility. And um, access is a lot better for getting out of the river and into the wood. Banks aren't so high, it just seems to be a little bit less kind of overgrown around the edges of the wood. But it's very close to a very big road. And, uh, <laughs> no. Thank you. There you go. A few of you would ask why I always wear a hat. That's why. <laughs> yeah, so you may well be able to hear the sound of that road in the background. It certainly sounds loud enough to me. We're going to uh, carry on paddling upstream for a bit. We, we've got plenty of time. It's only just gone half past two. Um, and uh, I think probably that first woodland we came to is the one. So, uh, yeah, onwards.
Watch your camera, Simon. Uh oh, that is low, isn't it? <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> Wow. That's a low one, isn't it? That was low. <laughs> it's about quarter to four, and um, I think we're going to turn around here. Um, in fact, if you can see behind me, Andy already has. <laughs> um, yeah, we've kind of got as far as we, we wanted to, to get today. It's given Andy a good chance to <clears throat> um, have a practice at paddling a canoe solo and sort of familiarizing himself with the j-stroke um, which was kind of the idea and he's doing really well he's keeping the boat going in a pretty good straight line now so uh yeah mission accomplished um yeah we're gonna head back uh to that first bit of woodland and um stash the canoes up because there's no way we're getting the canoes into that woodland through the through the undergrowth and we'll hack our way in there ourselves and um find somewhere to set up camp We've got quite a lot to do, um, you know, collecting firewood and stuff. Um, going to cook a nice big meal tonight. So um, that's going to take a bit of time to, to prepare and, and cook. Deadwood, it's all on top of it. <laughs> There's loads of dry firewood around, lots of branches uh, that have fallen, caught, caught up in trees, and um, quite a few dead standing trees as well. This is a, a plantation, but uh, completely unmanaged. <laughs> Uh, this is Andy, he's got his tarp set up with uh, his bivvy in there. I'm over on this side and I've got um, my hammock, which is a DD front line and tarp and my chamock.
while Andy's just finishing off um, cutting up the firewood for tonight, um, I'm going to do one of the last chores that needs doing. Um, I only bought my uh, water filter with me. I didn't bring any bottled water or anything like that. So, um, you know, relying on this for all of my drinking water. Um, as is Andy, he's got the same bottle. But the problem is the water in this river is really turbid. Um, it's just full of sediment. It's really, really filthy water. Um, and, you know, if I, if I just scoop water up straight into this, it's going to clog it in no time and um, it's going to shorten its life. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to uh, use a Milbank bag, first of all. This is like a primary filter bag. Um, I'm sure most of you have seen these before. Um, and you just scoop up water through this and it takes the sediment out of it. It doesn't purify the water or, or um, you know, make it safe to drink. It just removes the sediment. Um, so what I'm going to do is scoop water up in here and then let it drip into my filter and then purify it through the filter. Right, so lighting the fire today with some of Simon's Tinder card. I've uh, never used any of this stuff. Works pretty much like birch bark, doesn't it? Very much. Yeah, you do have to fluff it up a little bit and just what you've done there, sort of separating it and and then just releasing some of the fibres, breaking some of the fibres up. And um, it goes like a rocket. Oh. There, we go, look. there we go. Good stuff, isn't it? Fire. Da -da -da -da. We're having um, a roast hind leg of deer this evening. We're having venison. Um, a friend of mine shot a deer the other day and um, very kindly invited me over to help him skin it and butcher it. I've done other animals, but I've never done a deer. So um, it was interesting to do. I'm gonna roast that at quite a high temperature to start it off for about 10 minutes or so and really get it to sear nicely. Um, and then I'm gonna raise it right up as high as I can and um, and just let it let it cook slowly, low and slow, or high and slow in this case because it's on a tripod. I'm going to make some incisions in here and stuff some garlic in. I bought some garlic cloves with me um, just to get a bit more flavour going on in there. And I'm just going to get some of that oil and just rub it over here as well. Right, I'm going to get the uh, Dutch oven on to heat up over the fire and then we'll get that in there. While the Dutch oven is warming up, I thought I might as well open my hazelnut porter. I've been looking forward to this. Uh, I won this in one of Hayes' uh, competitions and um, yeah, absolutely chuffed to bits because you can't get it down here in, well, in Norfolk. Down here in Kent, you can't get it either. You have to get it, um, I believe, direct from the brewery. So um, yeah, looking forward to this. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh, that's really nice. It's sort of chocolatey. Oh, really nice.
I'm not gonna nick it. Let's take a little look. This is just about half a liter of red wine, brown sugar, just light brown sugar. And I was told to liberally sprinkle this over the top. Now the thing about venison is that there's no fat on deer really. It's really lean, so um, just to get some fat into it, we've got a load of bacon. I'm just gonna drape over the top because, well, bacon's just good. Bacon makes everything good. Bacon makes it, oh shit, it's on the floor. Like. <laughs> oh, it's Hayes' fault. <laughs> 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 right, there we go. We'll just let that kind of do its thing for a couple of hours. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Today's been quite cloudy and overcast, um, but uh, all that cloud has blown over. So it's clear skies tonight, so I think it'll probably be quite a cold night. I should be cozy and warm in my hammock, and uh, if I need to wear my woolen bush shirt in bed, then I will. That is not looking too bad. Bad at all. So I'm going to hoik him out. And stick him on there and that can rest for a little while because I want to reduce this down to make a gravy. That's basically just red wine and goodness. And um, while that's doing, I'm going to use the lid to fry some potatoes. We're going to do the Ken survival style uh, cubed fried potatoes. I even bought suet to cook them in. So we stick him on there. Sort of reasonably flat ish. And then in here I've got suet to use as a fat. I'm just going to sprinkle it with the pan. Oh god, they're all falling everywhere. I'm going to have to turn them over individually, aren't yeah. they? <laughs> they take some time. <laughs> Alright then. I'm gonna dump a load of bacon on your plate. That's like all the bacon. Oh, that was nearly that was nearly all the bacon. <laughs> hey, give me some I'm of that not back. Give me some of that back. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna slice into it. I'm just gonna go hunks. Oh, oh, oh. Well, it cuts well. It might be a little bit. That should, might be a little bit over, you know. This has been cooking for two, two and a half hours. <laughs> Which is an estimate. <laughs> yeah, that is <laughs> definitely an estimate. And he's doing the, the spooning. <laughs> <laughs> Broke back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether it's because it's 11 o'clock at night and we're only just <laughs> eating our dinner. But that is fantastically good. Beach trail mix. <laughs> mm. Mm. The bacon with it is perfect. Ooh, nice big chunk of garlic in this mouthful. <laughs> mm. Big shout out here to, firstly to Tim for the venison thank you and thank you for inviting me over to help you with the butchering and 
thank you to Tim's brother, Simon, for the recipe. It's good. Thank you, Tim and Simon. <laughs> Well, we've uh, both got some uh, water on to boil. We're, we're both going to have a hot chocolate um, and then turn in for bed. We've had a nice evening. We've had some good food, even if it did take a, a little while. <laughs> but um, no, it's been good. It's been um, it's been nice to nice to catch up and and uh, we've we've chatted a bit about about Sweden and things, which has been really good. So uh, and drunk beer. And and drunk drunk a few beers, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're gonna have these and uh, turn in. So uh, I will see you in the morning. Good night. Morning folks, I've had my first cup of coffee and I feel alive again. I slept really well last night, as I always do in my hammock. Um, yeah, really warm, really comfortable. Um, I, I find that if I roll onto my side and kind of sleep diagonally across the hammock, I can almost get horizontal. <coughs> and I'm a side sleeper anyway, so um, yeah, that was good. I slept well, I woke up once during the night just to readjust a little bit because I'd slipped down slightly in my hammock. But um, then I slept through and didn't get up till about half past eight. So that was a, a real bonus. Hope you're hungry. I'm really hungry. <laughs> I'm always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stick on the lid and put a few coals on it.
Well, as luck would have it, just as Andy was about to dish up, um, the heavens have opened and it's peeing it down with rain. It's been kind of building up to this. There's been some light, light drizzle through the morning and it's just got a lot heavier. So we're gonna bring everything under the tarp and um, I think Andy's gonna dish up in the dry. Could have browned a little more on top, but... <laughs> that looks really good. <laughs> Andy's put a bit of ketchup on his, which is uh, highly controversial. <laughs> I'm going for hot sauce. So I've got another P PCF hot sauce here. Um, I don't know what this one is. It just says on the label, PCF hot sauce is uh, one of seven limited. Oh, Andy, this is good. Nice, isn't it? Mm. Good bit of fuel for our very wet paddle home. And whose canoe's on top? <laughs> ah, yours! <laughs> <laughs> the um, hot sauce isn't too hot, this one. It's quite, quite mild. Bags of flavour. Goes perfectly. Perfectly with the cheese and the potato and the egg and mm. egg and hot sauce does go well together. Egg and hot sauce is good, isn't it? Mm. Mm. We're going to make the most of this rain and collect all the runoff off the tarp. Well, we've had our breakfast which was absolutely delicious thank you Andy welcome <laughs> and uh, now we're gonna get things packed away um, it's a real shame about this weather coming in but it's one of those things um, at least we've got tarps up so we can pack away most of it, most of our stuff under the tarps at least and then just leave the tarps till till last So that is us all packed away. There's my little pile. There's Andy's little pile. And uh, Andy's done a fantastic job of clearing away where our fire was. No trace at all. Well, we're nearly back where we uh, put in yesterday. It's been a lovely paddle, really, really enjoyable overnight camp. Thanks, Andy, for inviting me down. Thank you for coming down and the, the lend of the canoe. Pleasure, pleasure. You know, everybody gets, uh, you know, gets that honor, you know. <laughs> I can't see any leaks. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's been really, really good fun. So, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. <laughs>